Marcus, well, congratulations. That was a, uh, I thought, a well-deserved win tonight. Yes, it was um, a great win. I mean, you know, a strong Yeovil team with one change from the weekend. Um, so uh, we made a few changes. Um, so for us to come off with a 2-0 result was great. Mm -hmm. Clean sheet, a couple of goals. I mean, to be fair, they had three one-on-ones with our keeper, Jack, who's done great again mm -hmm. in those situations. So... Um, yes, it's, a, it's you know, the games. Every game's defined on key moments, mm. um, uh, and w we came out on top with, with those key moments tonight. Yeah. Well, let's start with the goals because that has been a bit of the issue, hasn't it? In recent weeks, been defensively good, but not getting those goals. And if you're going to break your drought, what a strike to do it from Alex. Yeah, it was great. I think it was just a good bit of play, really. I thought, from honest with you, we, we spoke about uh, half time. Um, you know, we've we done quite well getting in behind their midfield and in between their back four, but then there wasn't enough runs off the ball to penetrate or, um, and that, you know, run came off the ball for, for Carl to get in behind and he picked a great cross out. So once you get in those situations, it's then about picking the right ball out, making the right run and then the right finish. And if you're in the right place at the right time with the right finish, you... Mm -hmm. There's every chance you know you're gonna you're gonna score, and that's that's what happened. So it was great, yeah. yeah and then Alex Rodden gets the second, and, and we we maybe haven't seen the best of him since he's arrived at Rovers. But I thought tonight was a real bright spot for you. Yeah, he was very sharp tonight. Yeah, he looked, he had uh, a bit more about him. That's for sure. He's been out injured, of course. He's but he's training for last week. Um, so no, I think I think you know in a, in a forward thinking sense, the, the players that are on the pitch, I thought, caused problems to their mm -hmm. back four. So. Um, uh, yeah, it was, it was a pleasing performance for, from, from a forward sense, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, and defensively, we've got a clean sheet. So, you know, our match winners turn up tonight. Our match winning four players turn up. And obviously, um, Jack, again, with his three one-on-one -on -one saves, mm -hmm. match winning performance from him as well. So, yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was good, very good. It's given you a, a few pleasant selection dilemmas. Yeah, it's nice, you know, it's nice to come in here and um, I always try and be positive as I can anyway, but it's nice to to come in here and uh, you know off the back of a win and one or two players have done well so it's mm. it's great because that's what you want to see you know you're a coach of the team you're a manager of the team and you want to you want to see your boys that you train with day in day out do really well because um, that's how it is that's our job mm. uh, and uh, they did today so it's great yeah, and, and those goals, it was the best part of 400 minutes without a goal, and that does get into players' minds sometimes, doesn't it, when it goes such a long time and, and nice to break that little run. Yes, it does, and you need the most strongest mental strength you could probably ever have as a forward player because, you know, the pressure is coming, is coming down, you have a vice on your head, you know, you have to get a goal at some point or create something or do something. So a bit of pressure would be off one or two players tonight. Um so even though it might you might not be that player that's been involved for the last two three weeks within mm -hmm. those games, you're coming onto a, a pitch in a team that are lacking in confidence. Yeah. So you're still going to feel that pressure, um, and it's good that you know you could be the hero really um, and take a bit of pressure off everyone because it's not just about it's not you know if you score a goal great, but at the end of the day it's a team game and you know it's the pressure off your team as well. Um, mm -hmm. And that's that's what's happened tonight with those with those four players. They've relieved a lot of pressure from this team. Yeah, and and I wonder not so much tonight, but recently the way that Jack's been playing. We mentioned the three one-on-one -on -one saves tonight. It just it helps settle down some of the players in front of him. Yeah, of course it does. You know, um, he's done that quite regularly since he's been here. Mm -hmm. So at some point he's going to make a mistake. That's that's natural. Human, mm -hmm. it's going to happen. Um, and. Yeah, you know, you've got to think about what he's done. He's about to be positive about his the way he's played, his mannerisms. He's such a serious lad. You look at him and you think, you know, I want to have a I want something I'd like to meet him dinner. A dark alley one night because <laughs> yeah, he say hello, he doesn't really say a lot. He says hello, he's very charming, very nice, but he's serious. He's serious about his football. That's what I like about him. Um and uh, uh Lumley was a bit like that as well, mm. because Lumley is serious. When it comes to training and playing and he was serious, he wanted to do his job properly. Mm. And that's what I always see Jack, he's just Stone faced. I want to get on my job, and I want to stop goals going in. Yeah. And I don't care what part of my body it hits. I want to stop goals going in. He's got some pride in his job, 
Yeah, so that's what I like yeah. about it. Absolutely, and just finally, that's I think put you through to the uh, the knockout stages already of the uh, the mm. Czech Trade Trophy. So nice to get a bit of progression. Yeah, I think it's the first time we've got through it this in this format, isn't yeah. it? I know I said it yesterday in the interview, but I know I know that's the case because the manager just said. So we're through to the next round. So mm. I don't know how that works. Is it? How many games we've got to Wembley? Oh. <laughs> a few. <laughs> no, I, no, I think it's four, isn't it? Four, five, five, five maybe. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. We're through to the next round, and we'll see what what comes. We obviously got to play Exeter mm. again uh, in our last game away from home uh, next month. So you know, after that, we'll see where we're at. Um, but it's nice to get through. It's it's a great. It's a great cup competition. I always loved playing it when I was mm -hmm. a player. For honest with you, I always felt there was a chance for more goals. The further we got, there was a chance for more goals for me and us as a team to get to get more res good results. Um, so, uh, yes, I think uh, it's a great thing for the moment because, you know, it kind of takes the pressure off the league. The league's the league. We'll mm -hmm. deal with that Saturday, but it's about, that's about the next game. But looking in the future, it's, um, it's given us a bit of confidence going into the league game, mm -hmm. and that's what it might do in the future. Yeah. Well done tonight. Thank you.